Yo, this is the time to play Pokemon Violet. We thought we were facing up against Cassiopeia before we met with Clive. You know, that spunky haired guy we met in our Team Star Battles. Only to reveal that it was Director Clavel. To our. Uh, ours, very well, no surprise at all, literally. We had a battle with him, which was pretty tough. But we managed to win, anyways. His team depends a bit on your starter you chose because he will always use the final evolved starter of the one you that is strong against yours. So if you pick Fukoko, he will have Quavolov. If you pick Spigatito, he will use uh, Skeledurge. If you picked uh, Quaxly, he will have Mioscarada. And then we beat him, and then he revealed not to be the team leader, but the leader is still here. Shadow Cassiopeia, come to camp in the dark of the night of battle against Cassiopeia in the schoolyard. So offensive against Cassiopeia, they go to the schoolyard, which is on top of, top of the school right here. That's when the face against Cassiopeia. It can only be at da dark time though, and for example, I see now it's dark. So let's go into the school, and let's go and find Cassiopeia right away. So I'll change my team first, by the way. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do like this. Let's use this PC thing here. Here we got the list of the school. All the classes are there as well, including the teachers. Can you see where teachers are at a certain time? Exclamation mark means there's some uh, talking and chatting while you're doing it. Schoolyard. Let's go there right away. Let's see if we can find Cassiopeia. Sitano. Thanks for coming. Of course, it had to be Penny. It had to be you, Penny. Of course, you're. And that wink! Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, she is badass. <laughs> this must be quite a shock to you. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star Lackeys outside of school that time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills had get held of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I am ready. Thanks. Oh. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology from Miss Time had me, um... I mean, preparation took longer than expected. That voice? Are you Clive? Penny. So it was you after... <coughs> I mean... Is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive. If you accept it. I want to record what happens next. So I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay. Will do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I am the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No! Penny! Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder! So here we go guys, it is indeed Penny who is Cassiopeia. She has a very cool battle team, just gotta say though. And uh, she has a very funny team, you'll find out very soon that her team is... Um, Unique, but still cool. 
Our first Pokemon is Umbreon. It's Umbreon Generation 2 EV Evolution Dark type. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Yeah, so she has six Pokemon. All of them are from 62 to 63. So yeah, Penny. It was her all along. She was the one. She probably that's why you didn't see Cassiopeia talking to us on the phone when Penny came to give us supplies. It is because she was basically talking to us on the phone, then walking to us and giving us supplies as just Penny. But her alter ego Cassiopeia is Penny. Very well. So I start with Azumarill here because Dark types are weak to Fairy. So let's give it a play rough. Give the lights come first. Attack goes down. No worries. Play rough comes in. It's effective. Let's do it one more time. Give it all eyes again. Yes, Umbreon is a very tanky Pokemon. It's one of the most tankiest EV evolutions, but you can't withstand two play roughs. And down it goes. Next up is Jolteon. Are you getting the hang right now? You understand what I mean? Yes. So this trainer has only EV evolutions. Now there are more than six though, so she doesn't have all of them, but she will only use EV evolutions. That's the all the Pokemon she has. Which ones though? We will find out. So we have seen Umbreon. This is Jolteon. Jolteon, one of the OG EV evolutions, together with Flareon and Vaporeon from Generation 1. This is electric type. So Jolteon was known for being very fast. And having good special attack as well. It's usually considered to be one of the best EV evolutions in the start. Because it was fast and it had high special. And typing as well is also good. Gonna use Baby Little Eyes against us as well. Then we have Earthquake. And this is gonna do good damage. Not KO though because of the Baby Little Eyes, but that's fine. Let's just use it one more time. You can't use electric attacks against us because we are the ground type. No worries, though, we just do Earthquake again. And Jolteon goes down. That's good. Next up is Vaporeon, so now I'm gonna go to Water type. Now we could just stick with uh, Cloudsire here, because Cloudsire has the Water Absorbability. It's kinda up to you which one you wanna go with. But I think I wanna get more EXP on Bramble Guest, because I forgot to take off the. Um, the ex the uh, the egg on uh, on Cloud Sire. That's fine. And Vaporeon, another OG Pokemon. This was the tankiest of the water OG Pokemon. So Vaporeon has okay defense, pretty good special defense. But the big thing about Vaporeon is it has very high HP. The HP values are super high. It's a very tanky Pokemon. Also, back in the OG games, it, it had moves like Acid Armor, which makes it even more tankier. So it's a very tanky Pokemon. For some reason, why does he only want to use Babelolite? It's the sixth Babelolite in a row. We drain the HP though, and Vaporeon goes down. We still have three more. And next one is going to be Flareon, the last of the three OG EV evolutions. This is the Fire type. Let's bring in Garganical. Garganical is great because he's immune to fire debuff as well as being a rock type. Rock is resistant to fire. So here comes the OG. So while Jolteon was the quick and special attack Pokemon, Flareon was the bit more defense but high attack uh, physical Pokemon. But I would usually say that Flareon was the weakest of the three. EV evolutions in Gen 1 because Vaporeon was just tanky and Jolteon was fast and high special attack. Still good though, but yeah. Flare Bits. Not very effective against Garganical because Garganical is, is uh, Rock type, Earthquake. One hit KO. Could have used Stone Edge though, would be more damage, but it will, Earthquake will probably be enough. Next up is Leafeon. We're gonna go to Generation 4 next with the Grass-type AV evolution. So, Leafeon 
will be interesting, but fine. We can fight with fire as well. Let's bring in Skeledurge. So Leafeon is also a tanky Pokemon. It has, it has, I think, the highest defense of all the Eevee evolutions. It also has high attack as well as defense. So it's a very good mix of attack and defense, but it has very low special attack and special defense. So it's squishy against special attacks, and special damage is also pretty low. But for us, a physical tank is actually very strong. But... Why do I keep doing that? Come on. Oh well. So one flamethrower will be enough. Leafeon is weak to special attacks. And it's gonna go down. But we have one more Pokemon to face. And of course it's gonna be Sylveon. So Sylveon is the last Pokemon that she's going to use. And Sylveon is the Generation 6 Pokemon produced with the Fairy type. And Fairy is weak to multiple things, for example, steel as well as poison. Let's get in close fire one more time. Let's get close fire. I can't fault any battles, kids, at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hands. Here comes Sylvia. This is the fairy type. Now, since it's the last Pokemon, might as well just make this more fun. Let's terrestrialize and go for Poison Jam. Time to terrestrialize! Shine bright like the starry sky and become who you really want to be! Yeah, she's gonna terrestrialize, of course. There he comes. And Sylveon gets the Fairy type. This is the Fairy type. So it's just the same typing as before. Which is good for me. Because I will terrestrialize as well. Now by doing that though, I will lose the ground type thing, but I'm still immune to water because of the ability, but I'm losing the water type now, so... I mean, I'm losing the ground type now, so... I will now be hit by electric attacks if she has one. Shut the ball! Doesn't really do much. Cloudstar is very tanky against special attacks, so poison jab. Oh, wow! And poison as well! How unfortunate. And the poison was enough! Oh, that was unfortunate. Ha! <laughs> this is one of the first times I actually win by a poison tick. Oh well. We defeat Penny of Team Star! And that's it! It's all over now. Oh, she gave even more money than Clive. Jeez. That's a lot of cash. Mm -mm. It's finally over, guys. It's done. I feel a bit sad for doing it, but we had no choice. There they are. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up! Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking! We get carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that would happen you round up a bunch of bullets in the courtyard and make a show learning them some manners. But we didn't fight them till the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Maybe we declare our intention to battle both and to the nail will the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. It was a bloody less victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't send out their Pokemon. They just blabbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits was sp spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down. And then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting out scoot free. I guess you're right. This is a stun might put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind, big boss. You cannot. Now that the bullets are gone, you guys should start going to school again. 
Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is... Thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop it right there, BB. Why are you talking like you never speak again? Need to go take care of some things. Pretty, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. Oh wow, she was right outside. Bye bye, guys. Thank you for everything. Hmm. That was uh, deep. Thanks for everything, Sitano. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess it's it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss, um, uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check, uh, what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the boss that we were done so once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So, it's back to the code once once again. The bosses must take it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses will do anything the code required of them? Even leave the team? Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star, no, what does your friends in the team mean to you? They're... They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for bracing me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady. There's something I would very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit with the old geezer at Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, Allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Ha ha! Director Clavel? Just as Cassiope was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but uh, where do you even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I had some big feelings about that wig. Ahem! <clears throat> well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you all come out? Huh? Well, look who's been watching, guys. Huh? Yep. Yo, big boss, long time no see. Momo. More like long time no me, right? We only found out your real name just now. Melly. Merely, is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady? Atticus. So, um, how do your real name's Penny? How have you been this whole time? Orti. We found it at last! You no idea where have we been? Eri. Okay, gang. On the count of three. One, two. Hasta vista, Cassiopeia, and hello, Penny! Aww, so cute.
Haha. <laughs> now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. C come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and your subsequent actions. Ever since my first day as a director, all ever met experience of the Academy is an environment blessedly flee from bullying. But now I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger. And, of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order of Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed. Team Star can continue to exist. Shall that be your wish? Woohoo! Pen isn't that great? Now we can all stay together! Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. But, but, I betrayed all of you! You mean Operation Starfall? Dirty Clavel told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about it, right? Not like we ever got chunked the team just cause someone told us to. After all, in our style. I cannot be begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so Hold on everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated. The requirement for Team Star disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. You protracted truancy. You brazen customization of school universe. You unauthorized use of academy equipment. You reckless modification and jeopardy driving a Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagging disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you are required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, especially I am asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for? The Star Training Centers. They should be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Zatano battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I'll ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um. No? It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This might be weird to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but... You should totally join in too, Penny. That's true. We will most ha happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too. That way if anything happens, we will be there to protect you. We're already talking how great it'll have both Team Star and school in our lives. This be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys... Sitana, what do you think? I think it sounds great. Huh? But, but, um... I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least. I think a little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star after all, 
I simply meant it's time to leave. Mazitano, please stop by my office later if you would. Well, this is getting a bit long, but uh, okay. Guess you should go to the director's office then. Anyway, this is going to be the end of this episode. We're a bit long now, so. Would be funny though. We're going to talk to Clavel after this office, then we're going to go do some exploration again and see if we can find some terror raid battles to do. And then it's off to the Pokemon League. We'll see what happens after then, because uh, things are about to become even more interesting, for sure. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's great for now. See you next time as my journey in Pokemon Violet continues.